the thing that puts the worst taste in my mouth, right? You know, you get a bad taste in your mouth. Is that is that we're forced to talk about RussiaGate. We're 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 inundated on the mainstream media. All of our Congress, all of our Senate, are so preoccupied with this RussiaGate crap that it's it it forces you to have to push back on it, right? Because again, if you follow this channel, you know that I believe that. And have always believed and have always stated from the very, very beginning of Russiagate, right? Russiagate was born in in March, April, May of 2016 in Hillary Clinton's back pocket, right? It was a, an excuse to smear Bernie Sanders when they got caught cheating in the presidential primary, the Democratic primary, right? That's where Russiagate was born. And if you follow this channel, you know that... I've said that right from the beginning, that the whole thing is fake. Not just the fact that the President of the United States didn't collude or obstruct justice, but the fact that Russia never had anything whatsoever to do with invading our election process. That was the Democratic Party. That was the team of Hillary Clinton, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, John Podesta, Robbie Mook, and, and the rest of the bad bunch. And then we find out that it was actually the pay, paid-off people within uh the FBI, Comey, McCabe, you know, Strokes, and all these fucking people, right? All these people working behind the scenes. Terry McAuliffe, right? the Iwan brothers in, in Congress, right? All of them. Right? Working in cahoots with the media. Right? That's what we found out that it, it really, that's really what Russia was. So so here's the two scenarios, right? Now, the the, the listen to this. this is, I'm reading from Zero Hedge. They're doing a good job, right? The, the question is, did they know or didn't they know? That is the question, right? That, that's the real question of Russiagate, right? It's not a matter. So, so here's the scenario, right? So the theory is, um, the, theory, the theory that they've been propagating for the last two years is this. It goes something like this. The sharp, super sloth investigative skills of top officials within the Justice Department and our intel community enabled them to identify Donald Trump and his campaign as treacher, treasonous, treacherous, treasonous conduits to the Russian president, Vladimir Putin himself. Right, that, that was the theme. Right? That was the, the overview. That's what we're supposed to believe. Right? Right? Not, not, that the, not that the Democrats hacked, you know, got someone inside the DNC leaked out the communications within the DNC and gave it to WikiLeaks and told the world how, how fucking corrupt they were, right? That's not what's going on, right? But rather, we're supposed to believe that Vladimir Putin uh, and, and all, our, all our very sophisticated 17, you know, uh, sophisticated intel intelligence community members were able to, uh, to, to figure this out, that it was really Vladimir Putin, right? That's what we're supposed to believe, right? So here's these uh, three knuckleheads, right? The three stooges of corruption, right? Comey, John Brennan, and Clapper, right? These are the guys that orchestrated Comey, and now they're all pointing the fingers at each other, right? You're seeing them do it. They're all rolling over. Loretta Lynch just said, remember when Comey said that uh, Loretta Lynch said to call it a, a a a matter and not a, an investigation. Right? The FBI only does investigations. They're all criminal investigations. That's the it's the it's in a, it's in a, it's the highest branch of law enforcement in our country. When they investigate, it is a criminal investigation, right? So for Comey to call it a matter was ridiculous. So he's saying that Loretta Lynch, the attorney general at the time said, oh, no, no, she, he said that she said, call it a matter. And she's saying nothing could be further from the truth. So somebody is lying. So if Comey is lying, they got him on contempt right there, perjury. He perjured himself in Congress by saying that Loretta Lynch said. So now they would have to, uh, so they're not going to get him on perjury, but they, they would get him, discredit him even more. None of these guys are going to jail. Just get it in your freaking heads that none of these guys, they're above the law, their decisions, their 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 law enforcement. The worst they could do is lose their job, and all of them are not in the positions they were. So they're all out. So again, they either knew about about the rigging or they didn't know, right? That's the, that's the scenario. So they knew. One possibility is to consider is that top Obama administrative uh, officials knew all along 
there was uh, there never was any real collusion or crime at play, but they manufactured the false Russia premise in order to justify their political spying. Uh, see, it's it is it, to justify not only their political spying, but to justify their covering of rigging an election. Right? Everybody seems to want to jump in when Trump jumped in, right? That they tr- they spied on Trump. But the real, again, the predicate to the crime is the rigging of the Democratic primary. So that's the possibility that that they knew all about it, right? That all of the, the players, all the way up to Obama, that next to Lynch, to the Secretary of State at the time, all of the players, right, knew exactly what's going on. That the election was, the elect that they were going to get this crap PP dossier, right? That the first the elections were rigged, then they were going to take that that uh, that ball dropping, and then that Russia did it, and then pin it on Trump, right? Because they already knocked Bernie Sanders out of the way, and Bernie Sanders rolled over, right? Oh no, no, it was uh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry they uh, cheated me. I'm sorry, right? And he rolled over, and and. Um, all right, so that's one scenario that they knew exactly what they were doing, right? And that's pretty bad, right? Because if we find out that they that all of these guys, Comey, McCabe, Brannon, Clapper, and they were all in all working in unison with the with the members of Congress, the media, all to prevent Trump from being elected, prevent Bernie Sanders from becoming the nominee, right? then we have a serious, you know, that is the constitutional crises that these idiots like to talk about in Congress. We have a constitutional crisis, right? Uh, the, the real constitutional crisis is, uh, is that right there. Now, the other, the other part of it is they knew, right? And that's bad, right? But what if they didn't know? Right? Think about that. What if they didn't know what was going on, right? So let's read that one, right? So... They didn't know. If Mueller is correct and there was no collusion or even coordination between Russia and Trump or any American, and if Obama administration officials who insist that was the case are not corrupt, then they collectively suffered from one of the most historical, monumental cases of poor judgment in U.S. intelligence history. Right? The idea... Again, the idea that someone sitting in his mother's basement, like like myself, right, theoretically, could figure this whole thing out that knew right from the get-go, just paying attention to the basic, you know, stuff on the ground, the basic, you know, things that we saw, election rigging, polls not matching, purged voters, DNC coordinating, coordinating with the media, overt cheating, in their own words, you know, rigging, rigging the election, the, the likelihood of a leak that was, was dumped, to Wiki, dumped to WikiLeaks, right? The, the kid that did it, allegedly did it, got murdered, right? right? All of these parts were so obvious and so easy to see, right? And the idea that, that, that they couldn't catch it is so ridiculous, and so would would put us in. Would you feel safe knowing that that like like I did the piece yesterday with the kids that hacked into the uh, the Democratic machines? However, whatever whatever type of machine it was, the fe- it's just a bigger picture that even kids can get into these machines, right? To say that 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 the our our intelligence communities don't know what's going on and didn't know what's going on is 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 in my view worse than them just saying, yeah, yeah, we rigged the election. Of course we did, right? Yeah, everybody knows it. It's so fucking obvious, right? That's worse. To me, it's wor- worse is, is, is that they didn't know. Right? That is, just, that is the, the, uh, the biggest tragedy. But nonetheless, so, so the, the Democrats are trying to say, I guess, I guess what's, what, the, what we're trying to say, if we have to pick right and left, the right is saying, uh, they knew all along, and the left is saying that they didn't know all along. Here's here's the here's the kingpin of the left. This is the voice of the left right now, uh, Gerald Ger- 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 Nadler. That, that what they're doing. That we were forced to take today 
to move a contempt citation against the Attorney General of the United States. We did not. So they're running. They're basically now the Democrats are running scared because it's now looking like they knew, right? Of course they knew, right? But but their voice is so loud. They just keep screaming from the rooftops that they didn't know, right? On and on and on. That's the whole thing. Contempt. Now they're holding. They're trying to get William Barr, right? Who took the who who was given the Mueller report, the magnificent Mueller report. Uh, and was was saw it, and then he didn't have to release that to the public, and he did release it to the public. But they wanted not only did they want the the, the unredacted versions, which they have access to, right? But they they now want Barr, who testified to Senate and got grilled and embarrassed and humiliated and pounded and punched for no reason whatsoever. Now they want them. They want the same shit to happen in Congress, and and and. Barr said, fuck you, I'm not doing this. This is stupid, right? Take your subpoena, stick it up your ass, right? A subpoena, by the way, see, they, they're trying to make the subpoena, oh, so so powerful subpoena. In courts today, a subpoena is just, it's like a, a request. It's not so much a legal summoning to the bench. That's not what a subpoena is anymore. I relish doing this, but we have no choice. Attorney General Barr, having proved himself to be the personal attorney to President Trump rather than the Attorney General of the United States by misleading the uh, public as to the contents of the Mueller report. So, so now he's so now everything that Barr does, the the new Attorney General, the old one, L- Loretta Lynch, couldn't do no wrong. But now that that the 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 weight of the of the world is leaning on the Democrats because the truth of the matter is now coming out uh, we already know the truth but but uh it's coming to the surface right now they're running scared they have to they have to defame william barr the ag they got to make him a trump puppet right he oh he just he's just a mouthpiece of the president right because when when barr then turns the table on them and shows the truth of the matter which they knew all along right they knew all along what they were doing with the FISA reports. Even after the election rigging, they knew exactly what they were doing. Comey led the charge to, to discredit Trump and so on, right? So this is damage control. Just keep repeating the same lie. Now smear the messenger. Smear Barr. Smear Trump, right? Because, because the, the again, the attorney general is the one who's going to uh, ultimately... Uh, rain down on these guys, and they know it's coming. Twice, by not being truthful with Congress, uh, has shown himself to be uh, the personal attorney of the United States rather than the attorney general. And now he has taken it a much greater step farther in turning the entire Department of Justice into an instrument of, uh, of Trump personally, He's just making shit up now. He's taking the entire Justice Department and and making it Trump personally. Listen to what he just said. Justice into an instrument much greater step to what he said. farther in turning the entire Department of Justice into an instrument of uh, of Trump personally rather than an instrument of justice and, and a representative of the United States. And you see this lady nod. Oh, yeah, of course. So who's, well, yeah, just what he said. Yeah, I believe all that shit, right? So, so we're, we're in a bad way. To, tr- to, to know or not to know, that is the question that we need to know, right? And, of course, the obvious is, of course they knew. They knew all along, right? So in my book, I, I, I just, I, look, I don't think any of these people are going to go to jail. I don't think any of them will be indicted. I think that they just, it's again, it's just a smear campaign. However, remember now, the Democrats spent two years and they got two heads. They got uh, they got uh, Flynn and they got Manafort, right? They got indictments on both of those guys. So so uh, you might see two heads go, roll, right? I'd love to see Comey go down, right? But again, Comey was in a, in a law enforcement position, right? Everything that law enforcement people do, even if it's, even if it's, if it's bad, bad it's just bad judgment and and the consequence is usually they lose their job for example like the case in in staten island over here where where the cop you know choked uh the the you know the 400 pound guy right in in the eric gardner case right 
the cop choked the choked the 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 big guy and took him to the ground even when he was saying I can't breathe but again he wasn't it's not a crime it's a cop making bad judgment right and that's how they're treated i'm not saying that 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 that's what he did was right or the way the law is set up is right but i'm telling you that that even in the worst scenario a the top law enforcement agent James Comey, the le- leader of the FBI or the CIA guy, the Brennan, for them, for them to be accused of criminal activity is a real stretch because, again, it's just bad judgment. And the consequence of bad judgment is to just get them out of office, right? And they already are out. So, so I think that that's, you know, that's uh, uh, more of the, the scenario here when we finally get them. All right, you want to make an appearance? <laughs> 17-year-old cat. She doesn't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, I'm not mistreating her. It's just she's, she cries and screams. She's soaking wet right now because she was in the tub. That, that's what, uh, you know, 17, 18 years old. I don't think she can hear anymore either. I think she's a little deaf. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I know I can hear you. So uh, Marcus Conti reporting and uh, kindly subscribe to the uh, channel and Become a Patreon already. Come on, man. I'm, I'm choking over here. The station's demonetized, right? We're going to lose out, man. Marcus Conti reporting.